collaboration with the Games Rating Authority, here's what parents need to know about Mirror's Edge Catalyst, Peggy 16. From what to watch out for to what makes this game great, this is the ultimate quick guide. Mirror's Edge Catalyst is an action-adventure game which casts the player as Faith, a free-running courier in a dystopian future. The game is played from a first-person perspective, unusual for a game based on exploration and agility. Play involves traversing the rooftops and climbing the walls of a corporate-controlled city, as well as engaging in balletic unarmed combat with the security guards and other enemies who get in your way. Unlike the very linear original game, Mirror's Edge Catalyst takes place in an open-world city, allowing freedom of exploration. While the main campaign is single-player and there is no simultaneous multiplayer, Catalyst offers players the chance to create, share and compete in time trials. Catalyst is the follow-up to Mirror's Edge, but its first-person parkour gameplay with an open-world city is also reminiscent of last year's Dying Light. In the UK and Europe, Peggy rates Mirror's Edge Catalyst suitable for over 16s for moderate violence. The Games Rating Authority expand on their Peggy details by stating that the game features realistic violence, as the majority of which consists of hand-to-hand -hand combat, normally seen from a first-person perspective, though fights are also seen in third-person view in cutscenes. In one cutscene, a character is strapped to a stretcher, convulsing while he is interrogated, but no violent action is depicted explicitly. In the City of Glass, Faith Connors is one of a group of runners, illicit couriers who live off the grid and cross the city rooftops with their parkour skills. After discovering a conspiracy at the heart of Kruger Corp, one of the corporations that run the city, Faith is hunted and must fight back. Mirror's Edge Catalyst is developed by EA Dice, the Swedish developer behind the first Mirror's Edge game, as well as the Battlefield series. Mirror's Edge Catalyst is available for PS4, Xbox One and PC for around £40 or $60. More expensive collector's editions are also available. The original Mirror's Edge has a campaign that took six hours to beat, depending on ability, but the more open structure of Mirror's Edge Catalyst and the opportunity to share time trials should provide extra hours of play in the follow-up. Mirror's Edge Catalyst presents a dystopian future where the City of Glass is run by a conglomerate of 13 corporations and where runners live off the grid to avoid the rules and restrictions of the city. In showing a future where individuals have few rights in the face of overwhelming corporate power, the game feels like a plausible dystopia that's not too far away, even if the neck-tattooed, free-running heroes feel like a contemporary vision of a rebellion that would be dated very soon, if not already. The appeal of the original Mirror's Edge was twofold in the exhilarating, vertigo-inducing first-person platforming and the sharp clinical design of its future cityscape. Catalyst aims to build on both, with an even greater stomach-lurching sense of height and distance as Faith explores glass, and even more environments that combine clean white surfaces with blocks of bold colour. Improvements abound too. The cutscenes and in-game action now have consistent look, and the open-world gameplay reduces the sense of being directed down a very straight line. A complete overhaul of combat replaces the extremely unwieldy system in the previous game, providing fights where Faith never picks up a gun, but instead flows directly from parkour into attacks that use her agility and momentum to take out bad guys. The original was a distinctive game, and this follow-up focuses that vision even further to present a unique futuristic action experience. Thanks for watching our Parents Guide to Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Tell us how your family got on with the game in the comments, and please subscribe for more guides coming soon.